What's up YouTube? If you can see where I am and what's behind me, I think you can understand that today's video is insanely exciting for me. I've come to GVE London, which is an insane motor dealer. This place has all of the best cars, the coolest cars I've ever seen in my entire life. I love bikes, but man, I love cars. And I'm at this crazy, crazy, crazy motor dealership, GVE London, about a 40 mile drive to I mean, this is heaven, and I'm not just coming here to look at cars, although before we get into this video, I want to show you some of these insane motors, but I'm also here to actually collect and buy a car. So this place sells Lamborghinis, Ferraris, McLarens, Aston Martins, Audis, Porsches. One of the cars on those lists is the one I'm buying, which is insanely cool. But firstly, this is the car that I have to show you first, the McLaren P1. This is a hyper car. I don't know the figures on it, but I know that it's like a groundbreaking car. And look at some of the detailing on this machine. Honestly, this place is like heaven. They've got a Ferrari 488 Pista, which is like the ultimate Ferrari. It's a race car with number plates. They've got a Porsche GT3 RS. Look at this car, and that insane silver. Massive, massive vents all over it. Look at it. They're all just race cars. This has got the most insane wing I've ever seen. It's like a half pipe I'd ride at a skate park. All of the cars have just the biggest, sickest alloys, exhaust systems. This Lamborg, look at this, look how wide these cars are. Everything's so wide. It's insane. This is the Ferrari 488 Pista, which, like most of these supercars, has the engine in the back, covered in carbon fibre, huge vents everywhere, air goes in here, cools the engine, air goes in everywhere. The brakes, look at these ceramic brakes. Massive, they're literally the size of the alloys. Outrageous aero, like you can see the ground through the front of the car. Obviously there's no engine in the front here. It's ludicrous. So I used to make quite a lot of car videos on my channel because I had a Mercedes C63 AMG which I did like exhaust, remap, change the diff. And the C63 was sick but I sold it a few months ago actually to do some like new projects, a clothing company, move house, things like that. And I'm finally, finally back in the market for a car. An insane car. And that's why I'm here today. I mean this place. This place is unbelievable. It's open to the public. You can literally come here and look at cars. We've got a BMW M4 CS, so it's got the crazy wing and the bronze alloys. That's over a hundred thousand pounds for an M4. I mean, a 600 LT McLaren. Look at the exhausts that come out the top. They fire flames as stock and standard, which is ridiculous. Crazy aero again, like you can literally put your arm through the door. It's insane. I actually think that's really sick, but I can't think of anything worse for a muddy bike rider to have and sit on, so it's not gonna happen. This McLaren, this is considered like the ultimate track McLaren, 675 LT, which is so wide, covered in carbon fiber. Everything is just covered in just layers and layers of glossy shiny carbon fiber just like little details like this on the 600 lt wing mirrors the whole like the whole roof the whole roof's carbon all the vents are carbon i'm pretty sure the chassis on this is carbon i think mclaren use a carbon tub the whole back end is carbon it's just yeah it's pretty it's a pretty lavish place <laughs> The price tag on that is 1.3 million pounds. Used, of course, not brand new. <laughs> what a place. Oh, let's have a look. We're getting in. I probably shouldn't be getting in, but we're in. There it is, the 488 Pista. That like has lights across it, like an F1. I think it's called the F1 steering wheel. Huge carbon fiber paddles. Not a lot of room in the back. <laughs> and there's the engine screaming behind you. This is a sick car. You may be confused about the sudden location change. Well, whilst at GVE, my car was actually up on ramps having changes made, which I asked for. So it was impossible to film. I didn't know that at the time, but I've now taken delivery of my new car. I own it, I've driven it, and here it is. The Porsche GT3. <laughs>
up, honestly, it's insane. I've driven it now, it's unbelievable. It's, li it's honestly incredible. And I can't call it my dream car. My dream car was always a C63 AMG. And I can't call this my dream car because, to be honest, I could have never imagined I'd ever be in the position to own a car like this. I'm so lucky, like ultimately I'm just a nerd from the woods who likes building and riding jumps and somehow, somehow, somewhere along the line, I've landed in a position to own a machine like this. It's honestly, it's, it's a race car with number plates. Like, it, it is road legal, but it should be a race car and you can see that from like some of the features. It's just like the wing, the rear wing firstly, that's the first thing that catches your eye. It's got the most aggressive, unreal looking rear spoiler. Look at the wing. There's 3.8, which is the engine size. This Porsche runs a flat six, 3.8 litre, which makes 475 horsepower. But the whole car weighs just over 1,300 kilos. So the power to weight ratio of this car is astonishing. It's way more than my C63 with all the work I did to it. It actually took me a long time to find this car because I was way more into the whole spec thing and the more you read into it the more you realize there's certain options that you desperately want on a car like this that don't come around that often from the outside the only options that were so important to me were carbon ceramic brakes which are unbelievably powerful they last for basically a lifetime and they are so so powerful but what i didn't realize when i bought this car now having driven it when they're cold like the first time going out in the car they actually suck, they're so bad. Carbon ceramic brakes need to have loads of heat through them. And when they don't, they're absolute nonsense, but they look insane. So on these cars, a telltale sign is yellow brake calipers are carbon ceramic brakes, and red are steel brakes. And the other thing is, like these huge, 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 insane looking forged alloys, which are so light, have this center locking nut here, which you need a special tool for and it just looks so cool. No big wheel nuts, it just looks like a race car. It's got two exhaust pipes in the middle at the bottom and it's a valve switchable exhaust so you can like make it louder, quieter, which is all inside. So let's look inside because all the other options and all the other crazy cool features are going on inside. Right. Firstly, these carbon door sills which have got the GT3 logo. Cool, it's quite dirty already. I shouldn't have gone for white. I don't know why I went for white. There's not many colours, there's insane looking colours like Miami blue, yellow, white's quite safe but I really like the stripe and the branding, it makes it look like a race car. But the whole car, literally the whole bodywork has been PPF wrapped so it's got paint protection film which keeps the mud, the grit, the dirt from scratching the actual paint. So here we go, this is the interior where you spend all your time, all the experience happens here so it's got red stitching on this Alcantara trim all the way around the car which looks unbelievable. Carbon interior across there, carbon dash. The steering wheel is quite interesting, it's just an Alcantara round wheel which I thought was weird at first. Now having driven it you realise it's just so basic for a reason, it's just to involve you in the driving experience. You don't need buttons, you don't need to make phone calls. Paddles here, look at these bucket seats, You've got huge harnesses, You've got a fire extinguisher that comes as standard in the footwell. That's the club sport option. So the other options I wanted to go for, which are more apparent in here, is club sport, which means you get a roll cage, a fire extinguisher, harnesses as another extra, but yeah, the roll cage, just making it an ultimate track car. Sports chronos, that's basically a clock. Well, it literally is a clock. But if you have that, you also have launch control, which I'm desperate to show you because it just sounds and feels ridiculous. The 0 to 60 time on this car is way below four seconds, which is ridiculous for a rear wheel drive car. It's actually ridiculous. The engine's in the back, so the cage is there. There's no rear seats because the engine is behind me and the boot is in front of me. That's gonna take some getting used to. Look, I'll open the boot now and show you. The whole backs of the seats are carbon fiber, which is rad. They're just super, super comfy buckets. Obviously you can wear the harness or tuck it out the way. Alcantara and carbon up through the middle and these buttons here I'll show you another option. I really wanted was nose lift. So if I turn it on, let's show you what it does It sucks that it gets dark so early I would have liked to have made this video in daylight So if I open up the exhaust valves, I'll rev it once like this That's that valves closed then open them sounds way sicker. This car actually has a compressor inside to lift the front end and then drop it again for speed bumps. Cruise control is an optional extra. I don't know why they don't come spec'd with that automatically. Secondly, 
This car doesn't have parking sensors. I can't believe it. I'm, I, oh god, it's hard to get in and out of. I almost reversed straight into another car earlier. Shows how much I rely on them. There she is. Look at that. Perfect size for Domino's pizzas, takeout. Look how wide the rear arches are. It just looks so cool. I love the rear tail lights. This is something I had changed. So the car actually came specced with clear tail lights, which looked weird for me, like this kind of silvery white plastic. So I got them changed out for red ones, which I think is way cooler. I honestly do love this car so much. Like I was pretty keen and pretty convinced on getting an Audi R8, which is four wheel drive. I've never had a four wheel drive car, a loud, naturally aspirated V10, but then, I never even considered Porsche and then, like I read about it, found out about the GT3, like the heritage, how much it's built for the track, for the Nürburgring, like it's got rear wheel steer, the rear wheels actually turn as you turn the front wheels, so on slow corners they turn the opposite way, so you get a tighter turning circle, and on fast corners they actually turn the same way, so the car kind of like crabs, which gives you way, way, way more corner stability, like the whole, the whole thing is distributed, the weight, the power, everything, the brakes, is built for the track and to be a race car. And I think that's so cool that you can buy a car like this with number plates. I'm extremely lucky. I'm not going to drive it in this video because it's still raining out there, it's dark. Like, I want to learn the car before I make a proper driving video. And I'm sure you just want to watch biking videos anyway. But that is my new Porsche GT3. I feel extremely privileged and still quite taken aback that I can even say that. But I'm, I'm really, 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 really stoked on it. I do love cars. Peace. Thank you.